Even if you know the solution pattern for the 1071 problem, you can still make these mistakes and fail the interview. Watch this video until the end to make sure that doesn't happen. Sometimes people immediately start solving this problem using the GCD formula and end up failing because they skip this important validation step. Next, they sometimes make the mistake of starting to cut string number two, but we actually need to extract our common pattern from string number one. So the correct solution looks like this. First, we check the validity of concatenating string one and string two and string two and string one and compare them. It's absolutely essential not to forget this step. Without it, you'll fail the interview. Next, we carefully calculate the overall size of the common pattern, and then we extract this common pattern directly from our string number one. With these three important steps, if you make sure to do everything correctly, you definitely won't fail the interview. Save this video to check yourself before your next interview, and subscribe. And next, we'll go over how to answer other questions on problem 10.71.